let's just talk about the comments leave, okay? There's a guard who have been working and we're gonna keep working. I, I saw you guys doing the situation this morning, okay? First, like, controlling was really good and Paul was doing a good job controlling the guard. <coughs> I feel we got so much better, like controlling using comments leave. And if your comments leave control is better, your, your guard is better, okay? Like, you know, any other guard that you play will be better because you learn the concept of controlling the distance when you play comments leave. So, like, because you have a good comments leave guard, you know how to control the distance. When you go to Riva, when you go X guard, when you go reverse to Riva, you're gonna be doing much better because you know how to control the distance. Okay, so that's something that's really good. And also like following, okay? Comments leave, you have to learn how to follow your opponent, okay? And then when you're playing like different guards, like uh, reverse to Riva guard, then, you know, you're gonna be doing a good job. Like you guys were doing a good job following using the comments leave, but you're gonna apply the same concept when you play different guards. Okay. So that's why I told you guys before, I always, you know, I, I always focus more on comments leave as the main guard because I believe like if you have a comments leave guard, like a good comments leave guard, then you know everything else will you know just feel more natural, feel easier to do because you know, comments leave is open guard. And if you have a good open guard, you know, you can just start adding more and more techniques. So you have the foundation and then you just, you know, you just add more and more to your game. Okay. I saw you guys trying to attack for, for the second round of this specific training. I told you guys, oh, now you can attack. Okay. And uh, one thing that I saw, you guys can pull the collar and this leaf a little bit more. Okay. Because sometimes, like, you know, because we are drilling and we are not like fighting 100%, like going hard, we're just doing the situation as sparring. We, or even when we spar, like, we forget to pull the collar to leave. Like, we are holding, we are not really pulling, okay? And if you're not pulling, you lose the submission because the guy's gonna be able to hide himself. So I saw, like, many of you guys doing a really good job controlling, but then when you guys were trying to attack, it was a little bit harder to get something because the guy is always hiding his elbow here. So he has collar and sleeve. I saw this situation, like, the guy's right here. And you're controlling, you're doing a good job, like following and you're stepping on the bicep, you're stepping on the bicep, you're following, you're fine. But, you know, the, the main goal will be to get the submission, to win the fight, okay? So we can like, we break down the technique, like the situation, okay, let's just control first, and then we start attacking. But what's the main goal when you're attacking? You have to go for the submission okay? or for a sweep. And everything will be easier if you're able to get a guy to this position. You guys can see the difference. Like, when I'm passing, I want to be like this. I want to have my head up, I want to lower my head, and I want to hide my elbow. Okay? Even though this is not a good position for me, he's stepping on me, he's controlling my collar, but at least I have something, I have a good posture, okay? So I want this, so I can start and, you know, I can start to think about passing his guard, to do something. He's, because if I'm here, there's no way, like, he's gonna get submission or he's gonna sweep me, there's no way I'm gonna pass, and I'm not gonna even stay on top, he's gonna get something, okay? So sometimes when we're, you know, using the comments of guard, it's a very comfortable guard if you, figure out how to control the distance and follow. Then we forget about pulling, okay? So we are playing Colin Sleeve and then we are just holding, okay? So I can't just be holding, okay? That's fine if you're just learning how to control. But when you're fighting, when I tell you guys now you can attack, you need to pull Colin Sleeve more, okay? So if you're playing Colin Sleeve, your, your elbow is right here, that means that you're just holding, okay? If you're, if you're extending your arm too much, you're just pulling. You're not pulling. When you're pulling, you're gonna be like this. Like, you see? This is bad for him. Because now I have the triangle, I have the plata, I have the arm bar. Okay? So like sometimes we, we're wondering like, why is it so hard to get a triangle from there? Like, you know, the drill is so easy. Why is it so hard to go a plata? Okay? The technique is just for like lower belts, or if you, you know, when you're a beginner, it might work, but when you go like brown belt, it doesn't work. It does, but you have to make sure, you know, you pull the collar and you pull this lead, okay? It needs to be, you know, a little bit more aggressive when you're attacking, okay? So if you're pulling, 
you're breaking the posture, you're making the guy expose his arm. So that's what we need to do. So that's one thing I could see when you guys were uh, trying to attack. Like the, the guard control was amazing. Okay, now you know if, if you want to attack from there, and that's what you want to do for sure when you're fighting, you have to pull collar and pull this knee more. Okay, you can't be just holding. You have to pull. Okay, and. Sometimes you're fighting, you're gonna find people that are stronger than you, they have a good base, maybe they're bigger, heavier, I don't know, just stronger, and they're gonna be able to hide their elbow. Okay. And if that happens, you can't just try to pull. Like you're gonna be trying to pull, but that's not gonna work. If somebody's stronger than me and they're hiding their elbow, just like pulling, I'm not gonna be able to make him stretch his elbow or stretch his arm, okay, and expose his elbow. Why? Because he's stronger. So what I need to do, I need to step on his knee, I need to make him off balance so he can get to the position, okay? Like, you know, this is something that sometimes we forget about, but for any guard that you play, it, it's super important. When you want to get something, it's not just like, oh, let me do this technique, boom. You also make you, you always make the guy off balance or you make him uncomfortable before you do some work. I never find myself just going there and, and ah, get this technique. It doesn't work that way when you're fighting. When you're fighting, you need to make the guy pose his hand, you need to fake a sweep, you need to make the guy move, then he's gonna expose himself and you can get something. So, you know, we can't forget about this when we do situation is fine. Because that's something that's gonna make the techniques really work. Otherwise, it's just drilling. Okay, so in this situation, I have Colin sleep, but he's hiding his elbow. He's doing a pretty good job, like, you know, defending. So what I need to do, he's bigger, he's stronger than me. I'm going to just go here and pull. Not going to work. For sure, I'm going to keep pulling, but I have to step on his knee. I have to make him pulse, use my hooks. Oh, now I can get to the position. Why? Because I make him move, okay? I make him pose his hand, I make him worry about the sweep, so I can, you know, stretch his arm, we can break his posture, okay? So it, it's not hard to do, it's just like sometimes we forget, okay? I know how it is because it happens to me too, okay? That's why it's good to have somebody like watching you when you're doing it, because sometimes you're doing the right technique, but because you forget like one little thing, like making the guy pose and making the guy, making the guy move, the technique doesn't work, okay? It's not that the technique is wrong, you're just missing one little piece of the puzzle. Does that make sense? Like the technique is good. You guys can do all the techniques that we do, and I see you guys drilling, and it's really good. Amazing, like step by step, everything looks, looks cool. Now, oh, but why is it not working when I'm fighting? Something is wrong. It's not that it's wrong, you're just missing one little piece. Okay? Make the guy move more. Okay? Make the person on top, like talking about the comments, dude. Make it the person talk, close the hand, move, be more worried about the sweep. Okay, if you're trying to go for a submission, make them worry about the sweep. If you're trying to sweep, fake a triangle, fake, fake an arm bar or something, you know. Just keep them busy, so then you're gonna get something. Okay, so we're gonna do a game, let's do one more round, okay. I want you guys to use the same techniques you guys are using, because it's looking good. <clears throat> so all the techniques are good, the guard control is good, just keep the person talk busy. Like, more movement, okay? Like make them pose, make them off balance, step on the knee, use the Delahiva. Like you can step on the knee on this side. You can go here, step. Don't leave your foot on the hip. We were talking about this. It's better to step on the bicep, okay? To avoid the knees like pass. But you can go there and you step on the knee and you come back. Now you're trying to posture up, you go Delahiva. Well, so, you know, just connect everything to make the person on top uncomfortable, busy, like trying to, try to defend everything and you're gonna get something, okay? So let's use the same techniques, just don't forget about this concept, okay, of keeping the person on top, always doing something, always defending, okay? Let's go, one, two. Okay guys, so we're gonna do a couple more rounds of the situation is boring, okay? But let's focus for a second on what to do when you're stuck in covered team, okay? It's not easy. It's a dangerous position, okay? You have to do something fast. If you wait too much, you're gonna end up in a battle, okay? So, he has covered to leave. The first thing you need to know 
I told you guys before, <coughs> you can't do this. Ah, I'm defending the sweep. No, I was not like, I was like this, and the guy's sweeping to the side. Okay, you need to somehow defend the sweep without going. Okay, you drop to your knees, defending the sweep, you're giving the submission. Okay, so let the guy sweep you, it's better. Okay. Warning down is fine, okay. Warning down is fine, like right here. Because I'm defending the triangle, I'm defending the close one. So, this is fine, like, I, I stay in this position a lot, okay. When I'm defending, like, Colin Smith, that's fine. Like, I'm standing, and then I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm exposing myself too much because he's doing a good job using the Colin Smith, then I have to put my knee there and just, like, you know, stop the, the triangle and the, the omoquala usually, like that's what the guy's trying to do when he's going here. Okay, you guys, you know, it's, you get the feeling, like when, when you're fighting and you're here, you feel like, you know, it's not a great position for me, it's bad, but at least like, I feel I can do something. But when the guy is able to pull your arm and break your posture, what do you feel like when you're here? You feel like at any time you can tap, right? Like, triangle is coming, arm bar, omoquala, so it's like, you know, you can feel that you're in danger, like you're in a bad position. Okay? So when you feel that, you have to use your knee. Okay? You have to make sure you somehow escape from there. Okay? So I'm going to give you guys a couple options. So let's say I'm fighting here. This is fine, okay? If I have my knee, you see my knee right here, and I'm hiding my elbow, it's not a good position. It has the advantage, okay? He's, he's winning, okay? The, this bottle, okay? But at least it's not the worst case scenario, okay? Like, if I have my head up, hips low, and I'm hiding my elbow, at least I'm defending the submission. And I can, I can try to use my knee to bend his leg, and then I can skate this one, step over, and change the situation, okay? Go to this leg pass. Okay, even if I get stepping last, maybe, I get the last one. At least, like, you know, it's a better position. So that's the first option. One more time, good. If I get stuck, but I have my head up, my hips low, and I'm hiding my elbow, I can keep fighting. I can keep fighting here, okay? If my posture is like this. I don't believe you're gonna just go like this and escape. Because if the guy's playing comments leave, you know, he's gonna be following your, your biceps again. If you can, that's fine. No, escape. But trust me, it's gonna be hard to do that, okay? So you're gonna have to use your knee. You see how you need balance? Because I'm gonna put it all the weight on this leg so I can move this one and use my knee. Okay? Because just from here, using this, I'm not gonna be able to use my left arm to smash his leg so I can escape. Okay? So what I have to do, go like this. Okay? You see how I lean more to this side here? I put all the weight on my right leg so I can bring this one here on the inside and boom, get to this position so I can escape. He's like this. Okay? So again, you're, you're right here, you got stuck, you go, oh, and you skate, okay? Put the leg work again, so I got stuck, right? Look how I lean more to this side, all the way to my right leg, and then I pick this leg up, and I go here. So I can, you know, change the situation, get to this leg pass. So that's one option, you need balance for sure. Because you're, you're passing from here, you go like this. Okay, so you go from here, to here, and then you skate. Okay, I'm gonna do one more time, I'll do slow. Because it, it is a good option, okay? So if you, if you have a good balance there, it, it works all the time. So you got stuck, but again, you have to do this when you have a good posture. Okay, head up, hips low. Hiding your elbow. Lean more to the side of the sleeve, okay? Pick your leg up. Go right here. Escape. Mm -hmm. Knees wide, okay? So that's the first option that I try to do when I have a good posture, okay? Now, in that situation where you're like this, I don't even waste time trying to go here because I feel even when I'm going there, the guy can go for the submission because 
my posture is horrible, okay? He broke my posture, okay? I have my head down, he's pulling his sleeve, I'm gonna tap, okay? So in this situation, I go right here, I just use my knee, and I lean back, try to protect my arm, okay? And then I start like escaping, or then I can come back to this position. I just worry about the submission at that point, okay? So when you get here, don't worry about passing, don't worry about the sweep too much, just protect your arm, okay? Use your knee, lean back, okay? If you end up like pulling guard like this, like double pull, make sure you grab the pants, because you, you don't wanna let the guy just come on top, okay? So if he's trying to come on top now, I'm holding his pants, I can go back on top, okay? So this technique, I was just dropping my knee, to the mannequin and I was trying to protect my arm. But, you know, there's another technique you can do. It looks like you're pulling guard, okay? And from the same situation where, you know, you feel like you're in a pretty bad position, you grab the pants and you step on the hip and you pull guard, okay? So some people don't like to do this one because I know I feel weird like pulling guard from here. Then that's fine, you just use your knee like I did before. Lean back protect your arm, okay? If you're more like familiar with the like, burn bowl, leg drag, okay? what you guys for sure understand, you know, like the burn bowl and uh, leg drag technique, you guys are not gonna have a hard time to do this one. So what do you have to do? You grab the pants, and you just step on the hip, and you fall down, okay? Pretty much like you're pulling guard, okay? but not really, you're not, you're not gonna let the guy go on top. Why? Because you're holding the pants. Now from this position, I'm defending the current sleeve because I'm protecting my elbow and I'm making sure he's not gonna come up because I'm holding the pants. So from here, I'm gonna break the grip. I can just like, boom, break. Ah, no, he's too strong, not gonna happen, okay? That's fine, just go there and step on the leg or on his arm, okay? You're gonna break the grip, now you leg drag, boom, and then you get up, okay? So I'm giving you guys like two options when you're in this really bad position. The first one, you don't feel comfortable to just fall on your back, okay? So then that's fine, you can just go here, kind of like lean back, protect your elbow, try to escape, get back on top, okay? Now, if you feel a little bit more comfortable, you can just step on the hip, pull, break the grip, and leg drag, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the leg drag one, I think it's a good technique. You just need to trust the technique. You, know, you gotta trust that when you fall on your back, you're not gonna be giving the guy a sweep or you know, or, you know, let the guy take your back or something. It's gonna feel a little weird, like oh man, you know, like I'm on top and I'm pulling guard. But not really. Like if you understand the burn ball and the leg drag, you know that you're only like putting yourself in the double pull, and then from there you are gonna get a good position. So. I think if you do that and you don't understand about burn bone and leg drag, then it's horrible because you guys are gonna come up and you're gonna be giving two points. But because you guys know leg drag and no burn bone, I think you're gonna be, you know, in a good situation. Okay? So one more time, this one. But you got stuck. Okay? You were not able to do this, like put your head up, hips low. So you got stuck, you gotta protect your elbow as fast as possible. So you grab the pants, never pull before you grab the pants, okay? You have to grab the pants first, and then you step on the hip, and you fall, okay? Like, posting your elbow can be on your shoulder, it's okay. You can even go for a full walk, like you can start like hugging the leg and going, like after you break the grip, you can connect your hands and go for a full walk, okay? I like leg drag better than full lock, so usually what I do, I break the grip, okay, and then I use my hip to lift his leg, with, and then I go under his leg, well, to leg drag. So you guys can do whatever you feel more comfortable. I just want to give you guys more options to skip from Collins. Okay, have a question? Yeah, is that advantage for the guy when you pull? No, if I'm on top and I do this technique, he doesn't get any advantage. If I do this technique and I let him go on top and then before he gets the two points, I push him down again, then he gets the advantage. Okay. So the guy on bottom never gets the advantage just for 
like putting you on your back. He needs to try and go on top. Okay? And then if he's able to stabilize for three seconds, he's gonna get two points. Not able to stabilize for three seconds, he gets one advantage. Okay? So you have to try to go on top in order to get advantage. Okay? That's why I always hold the pins. Because if I go there, talking about this like a competition situation, I don't want to give him any advantage, right? So if I hold the pants, I'm fine because when I see the guy trying to go on top, before he comes on top, I get up fast. Okay? So I don't give him anything. Okay? 